Hey everyone, welcome back to some more esports talk. Just a short little video today surrounding a recent announcement from Twitch and their update to their policy on off service harassment. Twitch made a post saying that in January, we will begin enforcing our updated hateful conduct and harassment policy so we can better protect every person on Twitch. They posted a full blog post along with this announcement that I'm going to skim through just a little bit to hit some of the major points that I think are important. They say that their approach to off-service enforcement will now fall into two categories. The first being harassment that takes place both on and off of Twitch. So if they see something suggesting harassment on stream, they will take into account harassment on Twitter or another platform or in real life. The second category is anything that poses a safety risk to the Twitch community, no matter where they occur. They include a large list of behaviors that they themselves recognize as the most egregious types of harm, but that they acknowledge there are other types of harassment and abuse that they will also investigate. They go on to say that they are now bringing on a third party investigative partner to spearhead these investigations. So basically Twitch has their own PI department at this point. They go on to make sure that they say that they will only take action when there is evidence, which may include links, screenshots, videos of off Twitch behavior, interviews, police filings or interactions that have been verified by their law enforcement response team or their third party investigators. To me at least, this seems like an overall positive addition to the Twitch policy, but there were a lot of people who took some heavy concern with this updated policy. Some people like Arab say that they knew the day would come where he'd get banned from Twitch for something not on the platform. The general concern from the public is that they are afraid that this could be easily abused by Twitch to ban whoever they want for anything and that Twitch doesn't have the right to police them outside of their platform. And I mean, I have got to address that at least for a moment because I do think it's a fair concern considering how much of a you know checkered pass that Twitch has with seemingly giving out arbitrary bans or mistakenly giving out bans. And so I understand why people would be concerned about a policy that seems to make it easier for them to ban whoever they want. However, it seems like this is going to be something that does not affect the large majority of people on Twitch. Certainly not the viewers for the most part, and definitely not that many streamers. I mean, this seems like something that is going to be employed only in the most serious of investigations and issues that are going on on the platform. And they want to use things that are off the platform to get a full, better context of situations that may be affecting Twitch in general. Now, a lot of people I understand are confused about Twitch at this point because we don't really know like what they are or aren't allowing on their platform. There's a lot of dicey content that people just don't understand why they're letting some things pass and other things not pass. What do you guys think about this situation and the updated policy? Let me know in the comments. Until next time, guys, be safe, be smart, behave. And I'll catch you later.